So, I want to ask you a question. How well do you know your van? Hello everybody and welcome to Casper Van Life. If this is your first time to the channel, then please do uh, consider subscribing. Uh, I generally do videos on my own van, my uh, 2007 VW T5 Transporter camper van. I'll be doing videos of all the adventures that I go on. Um, I'll also be doing modifications to the van. Some of them are my own little twist on things, my own little ideas, uh, not something you may uh, see on other videos so uh, they may be worth watching uh, a lot of things to do with storage and um, how I'm maximizing the storage in my van uh, little I don't know little quirky modifications things like that so if that may be of interest to you then please do uh, click on that subscribe button down below so I want to ask you a question how well do you know your van um, I've had my van about six weeks six, six to eight weeks now uh, and I'm still finding things out about it, but um, I came across something the other day when um, I was fitting a new uh, a replacement part. It was only very small. And can you tell me what that little part, that little bit is? Do you know what that is and where it goes and what it's for? So in the rest of the video, I'm just going to be showing you uh, where that part actually goes and what it is for and uh, how I replaced it. But whilst I was replacing that little uh, little part, I did find something else. Um, I think I know what it is. Um, I'll let you make your own mind up, and if you can leave a comment below on what you think it might be. Um, I've actually said in the video what I think it's for, but uh, I could be completely wrong. I might just be jumping to conclusions. So if you know better, then please do leave a comment below.
so there you go it was only a, a short video today uh, just replacing that little sort of peg clip thing on the uh, fuel filler cap on the actual door and the other one was just wrapped with uh, PVC tape uh, electrical tape and uh, every time I went to fill up with fuel it did me head in so uh, I had to get a new one and it was only £3.50 from eBay so a really cheap uh, replacement part but it took me a little while to get off but once I got it off uh, I managed to get the other one fitted and uh, it looks much better and uh, yeah that other little that other little piece as well I think it's the stopper for the actual door when it shuts to stop to make sure it butts up against something it's got a little bit of resistance and you can just adjust that depending on the I don't know if the door gets weak over time or something like that not sure but like I say if you know better please do leave a comment below so I hope you enjoyed that one if you did please give us a thumbs up and uh, like I said before if you're new to the channel please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video okay thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one